What's up guys, this is Burt Music and welcome to a quad view with every gun in Call of Duty Mobile. As always, this video is going to feature a quad view with basically every primary and secondary weapon in Call of Duty Mobile, with some exceptions. But I don't want this intro to drag on for too long, so we're gonna start it off here with the assault rifles and I'll explain some unique things about this video. Having so much fun destroying these seven-year-old clubs who are probably just casually playing this on their couch and I'm here to get some beads! Oh! Wait, why did not show that all that in the kill feed? What? Okay, so obviously that clip that I hit with the M4 was taken out of a previously recorded video. I've hit some other M4 quad feeds as well. But here's the thing with Call of Duty Mobile. You can't hit a true quad feed. Not the typical kinds of quad feeds that we see in every other kind of Call of Duty game. Since this is a mobile game, they're basically kind of assuming that the best you can do is hit a triple feed, so they don't show more than three at any given moment. I think that also has to do with the fact that, you know, since this game is meant to be played on a mobile device, there might not be as much screen space for the kill feed to go that long, so they don't show, like, quad feeds, five on, six on, anything beyond that. We've seen that in other Call of Duty games, just not Call of Duty Mobile. So, I wanted to point that out right off the bat, because as you can see, I'm hitting some multis with some of these guns, but it's not showing up as a quad feed regardless. But you will see a little number indicator next to the kill feed that kind of shows how many kills you're getting at any given moment in a streak. So that will kind of help you guys like kind of get a better idea of what's going on with the kill feed and how many kills I'm getting. So that's that. It's a quad feed with every gun video and you can't even really hit quad feeds in the game. I know. Isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> but if you thought that's bad, I'm sure there's something else you've noticed about the clips that I'm hitting in this video. The quality, the actual resolution, is a little bit higher than if you play Call of Duty Mobile on your phone or on a tablet. So why is that? Well, as you guys know in some of my other videos, you know, I initially had started playing Call of Duty Mobile on the phone like most people did, and I have a way of recording it, but it's not the best way to record. It's actually pretty inconvenient, and I am not a mobile gamer, at least not that much of a mobile gamer. So when I discovered that you could play Call of Duty Mobile on PC using what I assume is an Android emulator, I was like, okay, there's no way I'm going to actually play Call of Duty Mobile on a phone, which I know is so ironic because the game is Call of Duty Mobile. I've joked about it being Call of Duty Immobile when you're actually just sitting on your ass and playing on PC. But the main reason I play and record on PC for Call of Duty Mobile is just because it's easier to record. Which, by the way, I wanted to point out that ASM-10 clip that you just saw, that was in ranked. I wanted to show that because, you know, um, most of these lobbies and stuff are just going to be, you know, like, very casual lobbies. It's not ranked play, which I'll talk about later, but I just wanted to point that one clip out real quick. But anyway, I did just want to point out that I'm playing and recording Call of Duty Mobile on PC. The entire time I was doing this project, or at least most of this project, I was playing on PC. I might have been on my phone a little bit for doing some challenges here and there you know getting some battle pass progression but when it came to actually sitting down and going for the clips i was doing that on pc now i am very aware of the fact that some people hate this kind of behavior i've seen comments from people saying you shouldn't be playing this on pc there are people who are you know they actually game on mobile and this is where they seriously like to play and that you know it's kind of like exploiting or it's not fair it's i've even seen people accuse it of cheating which it's not cheating you know it's just an emulator you're just playing it on pc i wouldn't call it cheating is it unfair though Absolutely. If you're playing against actual people and they're on their phones and you're using a keyboard and mouse, you will have a distinct advantage if you're a keyboard and mouse player. Even if you're someone like me who mostly games on console and is not, you know, a pronounced PC elite gamer. Now look, I understand if Call of Duty Mobile is like your game and you're grinding the game on a phone or a tablet and this is something that you take very seriously. You know, I get that perspective of it and I understand and it's probably really annoying to go up against PC players because, you know, they do have a pretty good advantage over mobile players. But I want to add this caveat to that. There are some people playing this game on mobile, like actual phones and tablets that are really good and I have run into them because, and, and you know, we're on the snipers right now. I just wanted to point that out. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because because there was a sniper in the game that you could only get, at least for free. You know, if you're free to play, you're not buying supply drops or whatever in this game. You had to actually play ranked to get the Locust. As you know, the Locust was in Black Ops 3. It was added again into Black Ops 4. And it made its way into Call of Duty Mobile as well. But it was basically like a prize for hitting a certain rank in the competitive mode of Call of Duty Mobile. Since I wanted to do quad feed with every gun for Call of Duty Mobile, I actually played a lot of ranked. I wasn't just doing these typical casual matches like I'm doing here with, I believe, the Arctic 50 just absolutely dumping on people and aside from just hitting a feed i also ended up getting a nuke while i was on this streak which is pretty crazy but back to the point i was making i had to play ranked play if i wanted to get the locust and i had to rank up a lot and i was playing against other people who i could tell were not quite pc players they were people playing call of duty mobile 
on their phones, on their tablets, and my god, they were actually really good. So since I'm making this video and I'm playing and recording Call of Duty Mobile on PC, I do want to take the time to give props to those players who are actually playing Call of Duty Mobile, what I would call completely legit. They definitely deserve some recognition and some love as well because they're not taking the easy way out like I am. But just know that from my perspective for making this video, playing on PC was the easiest way to do it. Which, by the way, this was the ranked game that I played right before going to Pro 2, and that's when I unlocked the Locust, and I was so happy to find finally have this sniper because it is actually really good in Call of Duty Mobile. It doesn't quite have the follow-up potential that the Arctic 50 has, but my god, the one-shot kill range for the Locust is amazing. It is so good to use, and when I finally unlocked it, I was like, okay, I'm not just gonna hit the typical kill house TDM feed. I want to play on all kinds of different maps, all kinds of different game modes, and try to hit as many feeds as I can with the Locust because it is just so good. Which, by the way, now that I'm done talking about, you know, like, playing in ranks, playing on PC and all that, and also the fact that you can't even hit traditional kinds of quad feeds. Let's talk about game modes and maps. What are the best game modes and maps you can hit quad feeds on in Call of Duty Mobile? This is the real reason why your quad feed king is here today to make this video. I mean, I okay, I shouldn't probably take it that seriously because this is Call of Duty Mobile again, but for anyone out there who's watching this, who wants to maybe go for feeds or hit clips, I don't know exactly why you would, but I mean, maybe you love Call of Duty Mobile. It's your favorite game, or maybe it's the only one you can own. I mean, to be fair, this game is free to play, so it's very easy for people to access and get on. So I'm gonna tell you how you can hit quad feeds very easily. There are really two maps and two game modes that come to mind when it comes to hitting quad feeds in Call of Duty Mobile, and you've probably already seen them a thousand times, and we're only about halfway done with this video so far. The two maps that are absolutely perfect for hitting quad feeds in Call of Duty Mobile are Kill House and Nuketown, but it also depends on what game modes you play. We'll use this Locust clip as an example as well. When I go for a quad feed at first on Call of Duty Mobile, I try to play Kill House TDM because that is like the easiest thing to play, but then after that, I try to do some hard point on Nuketown because you can hit insane clips like this where they're lining up for triples. I almost hit a quad right there and I continue the streak and this clip was probably one of the best clips I hit in this video and it was really awesome. So yeah, when I was first recording for quad feed with every gun on Call of Duty Mobile, I was obsessing over Kill House TDM, but I later discovered that Hardpoint on Nuketown was pretty amazing, which is why you can see some of these later clips like the new Outlaw that was added into Call of Duty Mobile. Yeah, I ended up hitting this on Nuketown instead of Kill House. But now we're moving on to the LMGs and I also want to explain some other things, some other factors of this video that I think will probably disappoint you guys a little bit and I really hope that it doesn't, but it's just kind of how it goes with Call of Duty Mobile. So at the start, of this video, I mentioned that this is a quad feed with every gun in Call of Duty Mobile, but there are going to be some exceptions, so let me explain some of those exceptions right now. Obviously, when we get to the launcher section of this video, there are two launchers in Call of Duty Mobile. There's one that you can free fire, and then there's one that can only shoot down kill streaks. And obviously, the one that can only shoot down kill streaks, I'm not going to have a quad feed with. This has happened before in other Call of Duty games, and I just wanted to mention that before we get to the launcher section as well. But there's another factor to Call of Duty Mobile that makes it harder to actually complete this video, which I've talked to you guys about before, which is the fact that this game constantly adds new guns to to the game and some of them are not that easy to get some of them you have to play ranked play and grind to be able to actually unlock which takes a lot of time and i did that for the locust but i think it was the man war or something like that it was one of the newer ranked rewards but you had to rank up even higher to actually get that one so i didn't include that for this video i'm not going for it i think another gun that i'm leaving out is the cordite which i think was kind of recent i just you know i'm not playing Call of Duty Mobile that regularly. It's not something that I go out of my way to play that much, and I'm not going to sit down and grind it, especially when I was grinding for the guns and getting new guns, and then they just keep adding more, and it's been making it more and more difficult to actually get this project finalized. When I first started going for the quad feeds on Call of Duty Mobile, I was like, okay, whatever the base guns are that were in the game day one, that's what I'll do for the video. But then they started adding guns, and I was like, okay, maybe I can do this, maybe I can keep going for them, and it just kept piling up and piling up. So, there are probably going to be some guns missing in this video just because they're either locked behind a paywall like they're in the store or because as time goes on and the months pass by and the years pass by, Call of Duty Mobile is probably going to change pretty drastically. It's probably going to have a lot of new guns added into the game and I can't keep up with that. This is not some kind of video that I can just keep adding onto as time goes on. You know, I could have probably done the base guns and then done some DLC guns later on. But the thing with Call of Duty Mobile is that it's different than other Call of Duty games. I don't know how many more guns, how many more seasons there's going to be into this game. They're already on more seasons than Modern Warfare which is pretty crazy. So yeah, I just hope that you guys can be understanding about that. I mean, we're on the SMGs right here for Call of Duty Mobile, and I think the Shikom is pretty much, you know, like one of the last vanilla guns in Call of Duty Mobile, but now the other ones, I believe I have the Pharaoh here, along with the GKS. These were SMGs that were added in later, and you know, to a degree, it's fun to unlock these guns and then go for quad feeds with them, but some of them are just so grindy in Call of Duty Mobile, or you have to kind of like try to get lucky with buying crates, which I'm, I'm not f***ing buying 
any of the crazy Call of Duty Mobile. I'm not spending. The only thing I've spent on before in the past was just getting the battle pass so I could get some of the guns that were in the battle pass, which I would then grind for free. Now, again, I'm not like hardcore playing Call of Duty Mobile. I'm not keeping up with the game to that much of a degree. I have heard some talks about how the microtransactions in Call of Duty Mobile are, you know, kind of unfair, maybe too expensive, maybe the odds are too bad. And that kind of factors into not having certain guns as well for this video. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the Man of War was one of the guns, an assault rifle that was a perfect example of this because at one point you could get it by chance in a dark matter crate that you would buy with COD points. But then like months later, they made it a ranked play reward if you got like really high up there in the ranks. So yeah, I kind of hit a breaking point of like, I don't really want to play this game that much. I don't want to spend money on it. So we're done. <laughs> but now we're moving on to the pistols. And this is where it gets kind of interesting because I think I hit the MW11 quad feed on Nuketown. I actually had hit one before, but I lost the clip. So I hit it again playing hardpoint. And then the other pistol in the game, I think it's like the J358 or something like that. I hit this in one shot, one kill. It would have been pretty much impossible to hit it otherwise. And I know we're moving on to the knife and I'll explain that clip as well. Well, but you know the other thing with Call of Duty Mobile is that there's no hardcore which is something I'm very accustomed to playing to hitting quad feeds and other COD games which made it a little bit harder to actually get this project done but yeah this knife clip it was actually hit on kind of like a toss away accounts when I was first playing Call of Duty Mobile and didn't really understand how to log in and access the accounts and then here I hit a triple with the rocket launcher followed up with the other kill it should have probably been a quad but all I hit was a triple there so that's the best I could do with the launcher but that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys very much for watching I really do hope you guys enjoyed a quad feed with every gun in Call of Duty Mobile I know this this was one of the stranger quad feed projects that I've done, but I would still greatly appreciate it if you guys could like this video and share it with someone else who you think would enjoy watching it. Because even though I'm well aware of the fact that there were some weird stipulations to making this video, there were some things that made it more challenging and some things that made it even easier than normal. Just know that there was still a ton of time and effort poured into making this video possible. But with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see some more quad feed with every gun videos, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later.